Welcome to Product Marketing Genius. I'm your host, Nitin Kartik. As Director of Product Marketing and a top product marketing voice, I've always found that real-world case studies are the true litmus test for the effectiveness of any product marketing strategy. And that is why, in this show, we dive into the minds of industry titans, as well as rising stars, unpacking their expertise in action-packed episodes that showcase the power of product marketing through real-world case studies. And my friends, today we are joined by product marketing genius, Hila Lauterbach, who is vice president of product marketing at Scorpion. Hila is a top 100 product marketing voice, an entrepreneur, and a keynote speaker. Hila has extensive experience leading and building high-performance, go-to-market teams in global tech startups and enterprises. In the past 15 years, she has led dozens of B2B SaaS product launches across multiple industries and markets, including the US and EMEA. Many of them, in fact, in partnership with Fang companies. She has a strong entrepreneurial background, being a co-founder of three startups and holds extensive experience building PMM functions from scratch. Hila, it's an absolute honor to have you on the show. Welcome. Hi, Nitin. It is so great to be here. Really honored that you invited me for your new podcast. Already listened to the uh, past episode with my really, really good friends, Harvey Lee and Dave Manicom. So love it. Excited to be here and to share my work. Wonderful, wonderful. This is going to be a great conversation, Hila. So as you saw in the other episodes, we usually use the ABC framework. So we'll tell our audience a situation from your experience. Uh, we'll talk about the antecedents, the challenges that happened before. We'll talk about the behaviors, the actions that you took, and we'll talk about the conclusion, how that played out. So with that, Hila, pick a situation from your experience. Tell us what were the challenges? What were the antecedents? Perfect. So I'm going to share with you um, a launch we had a few months ago with a product called Connect and AI Chat. So just to give you a short background to give that the context. So I joined Scorpion about 15 months ago. And what the company is doing is the marketing leader in the digital marketing solution, focusing a few industries, home services, legal, and healthcare. And for many years, we led with very top solution for the company, Ranking AI, which is a SEO solution based on AI, and advertising product with multiple channels. But I think that one of the things we weren't very loud about was the AI solution that we embedded many years ago with the best researcher in the industry. And we had it before the trend became you know, such a hype, but we did not really put it outside as part of the bold messaging for the company. So when we come to launching a product in this field, which called, as I said, Scorpion Connected AI Chat for Businesses, we really needed to create an education with our specific markets and home services providers and legal firms to really clarify what is the value when taking this type of technology and solution to their website? How is it going to change their story? How do we simplify that? We needed to come with a very simple language because sometimes with all the you know hype and high word and buzz, um, you really want to go down to understand what is the value for this client? How does it going to really help them to generate outstanding results? So I think that for us, it was a big key. Also the question about how you create awareness, how you create the right, um, the right you know, education around that. And one of the main things we learned in the research and when I talk with clients in the interview is that it's not always that they have the deep understanding about how this technology can be leveraged to achieve their goals and how they can speak to that and how they can implement it in a smooth and very easy way. So we needed to take a simple language, something that uh, we, we now call after um, hearing Emma Thompson barbecue language, you know, kind of like a simple conversation that you can have with your friends and understand it without to be too, to be too high uh, with the word you use. And also the question was, how do you differentiate a solution? Anybody like these days speak about the chatbot solution in the industry um, and everything speaking about chat AI, GPT, but what can be a differentiator that will really put us apart in the competition specifically in our um, specific marketing um, and markets? So I think those are the big challenges we have and the question about which channel we're going to leverage. Yeah, I think a lot of our audience Hila, will relate to that. Differentiation is becoming more complicated as the competition heats up. Wonderful. So we've talked about the prior challenges. Hila, tell us a little bit about the behaviors. What were some of the actions that you took here? Perfect. So uh, when it comes to the product itself, the uniqueness is actually coming from the product or from some of the capabilities. Think about artificial intel intelligence solution that respond to questions coming from visitors that are a part of your website. 
And the data you're taking and analyzed there is embedded very deeply in what we've drawn for a long year, like many years of uh, very high touch experience in our industry. So we very quickly understood that the uniqueness is going to be the understanding and the ex very extensive experience in our industries. So think about training models that come from that and how do you speak the language? How do you help the clients to shape the story of their business without needing an extra training on the website or an extra uh, work that takes a lot of time and might be uh, painful or not bringing the right values. So when it comes to the product go to market strategy, really starting with some assumption and shifted it through time. We thought that we we're going to improve at some level the website visitor engagement with the tool and improve the qualification of the leads. But what has changed is that we learned the actual uh, results that clients get in through time. This is something that you can get after a few months of launch, that you can really go deep and see the product proof point and change the story based on that. So we iterate a lot. And the best channel we faced at the time to really support these challenges of educational and awareness gap was a lot of thought leadership around it. Articles, conferences, PR coverage, telling the story, articles, the blog posts, and kind to uh, obviously supported by webinar and others, but ensuring that we have the right story around. And we also created unique demo sites that we sent to prospects to start engaging. This is how your website is going to look like. This is how this tool is going to look like. And this is how it's going to work for you. Very personalized and customized. So I think that it will take us to this, like the, the end part of the conclusion, what it brought us and how it changed the position in for us. Yeah. In fact, I cannot even wait to hear the conclusion. You know, you've talked about all these different channels and all these actions that you've taken. So please, Hila, next, let's talk about the conclusion. How did this play out? So after a few months, we started to really see significant interest in the sales and overall awareness. We really sold a lot of this unit. And really, also really uh, recently, we won the Internet and Technology category for 2024 in Big Innovation Award um, for this uh, solution. So starting to really see how it comes to the industry. And when it comes to the results, what we really started to see is how it's really create much more leads and qualification in the website. So if you come to the main KPIs, we saw that the conversion rate from web visitor to the lead increased by about 30% following the AI chat activation very quickly. And the leads themselves increased by 12% in the 20 days just after implemented AI chat. The reason we think about 20 days before and after is because we're still in an MVP version that you have like a short time of implementation to be able to learn the results and to see the impact through the time. I believe that we have more clarity um, around it for the long term. This was also translated into revenue. So it was really beautiful to see that all these leads coming in qualified and coming to thousands of dollars increase in MRR for the clients. And these days we're going to the next level, going down market. So I'm building a pod with my team and the PLG group in the company and building a self-serve solution that's going to bring this technology that, as you know, historically used to be more um, accessible for big companies and enterprise to the small services business across the US and building this funneling to enable us more of a low cost solution to these industries as well. Wow, I'm just blown away, Hila. So I think some of the results that you shared you had a 30% increase in leads uh, or in visitors and a 12% increase in leads. And this is just in 20 days following the launch. Amazing. So really, really hats off to that. Uh, so Hila, with that, if people want to learn more, uh, where can people find you? Where can people learn more about you, Hila? For sure. So I'm um, always happy to meet people from the industry. You can reach out directly to me when we come to the company. We have a LinkedIn page, Instagram, our website. Tons of conferences are coming away uh, this year. I'm going to be around at least every four to six weeks around the US. Would love to see you. Uh, and as I said, always you can reach out, learn more, and connect. Absolutely fabulous. So, folks, there you have it. Reach out to Hila on LinkedIn, or maybe if you're at a conference, definitely stop by and say hi. And if you learned as much as I did during this show, then I think you're definitely ready for your next move. So with that, Hila, thank you once again. And armed with that knowledge, my friends, let's make the magic happen.